Okay, Elizabeth's just coming home from the beach. Before I break down my setup for filming the video of Spencer and I at, at Snowshoe, I thought it'd be fun to show everybody how I created my outdoor studio. Do you have anything to say about that for my YouTube channel? You're on my say. YouTube channel. I don't have anything to say about hey, this. Hey, comment, like, subscribe, hashtag Instagram. But no don't. comment down below, what? down below. But uh, more and more followers for me, because that's how I roll. Okay, ridiculous. Ta -da. What is this? What is this little top hat? What do you mean? Going what do you mean? It's it's good to see you. It's been a while. You're wearing a father shirt. Yeah, well, I want to catch it on my whole life now. I was going live. Oh wow! So we're in the vlog. So we're vlogging now. Look at my whole setup. I'm living outside now. I feel it's like, like I'm on the Today Show. It's You're like interviewing. It's like Big Brother. So Hi. First thing I did for my outdoor studio was I set up a 12 by 12 overhead tent because I knew that sitting there in the couch was going to be in the sun, and I just want a little bit of nice even shade. So 12 by 12. First thing I did on my set was I placed my camera. I know that Spencer and I were going to go sit right there on the couch because once I have my camera placed, I can then go and put everything else around it. Using the Rode NTG mic, I placed it on a short boom arm and I placed it on a tripod right behind where the camera's gonna go. With the camera and the mic set up, I needed a system where Spencer and I could watch our trip down the trail and then give commentary to it. So I hooked up my laptop to a monitor and then all I had to do was simply hit play and this way we could watch the video and give our commentary about our trip down the trail. Notice that I did use the old trick of, uh, I took a couple of board games and I raised the monitor up so it was easy for, it was just, so what I did is I basically took two board games to raise the monitor up so that our eye level would be a little closer to where we had the camera position, which was right about there. <laughs> so I set up a B camera in hopes that I could get a medium close up of Spencer as he did his commentary on the trails. I never ended up using it, but I kept thinking I had it there just in case. Sometimes not all your ideas work out, and this was one of those ideas that just didn't work out. It was just a lot of fun. Setting up a small studio outside was definitely worth it. Yes, I had to take down some wind chimes, and yes, airplanes went overhead, but I got a nice simple space outside that was really easy to create, super fun to be in, and it'll be really easy to break down. I just hope it gives you some ideas to how you can create yours. It does take a little bit of time, but it is well worth it in the end to leave your studio to go outside. And you don't really need a lot of equipment, just some creativity and a fun space to shoot in. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe in the description below. My name's Oliver Weah, and I'll see you in the next one. She's only been home for a few minutes, and look, she's already on her phone. All right, guys. Like, all who right. Who does this? Cancel. Doesn't even interact with cancel father. Culture. Father. I'm we are studio. What are you? Can't I'm cancel me. <laughs> I got 88 subscribers. 88 subscribers. That's right, folks. 88 subscribers. But tomorrow morning, 89. Or 87. What are you doing? Get out of here. Go to college.